Hello and welcome back. Today we're working on a MacBook Pro A1708. This is the two Thunderbolt 2016-2017 model that does this. When you turn it on or when it does turn on, the screen looks like that as it happens with a lot of models that came after it as well either 13 inch or 15 inch there is most probably something stuck inside of the flex here that has caused the tear and we're gonna try and fix that so what we need to do first is remove the bottom cover here basically we need to gain access to the LCD itself so that we can remove the bezel that says MacBook Pro and then we can uh, access the flex that it's damaged. A piece of advice here is that depending on the side you see the fault, I mean if you noticed on this side, it, on this laptop it was on the left side. So depending on... Jesus! Depending on which side is the fault, then most probably you will be able to find the corresponding flex. So if it's on the left, then it's most probably the, the flex on the left and vice versa. First thing we always do is disconnect the battery. And for safety reasons, let's remove the battery screw here as well. Now, this is a fairly easy laptop to disassemble, as we've stated in some previous videos, but the screen removing part is kind of a pain. So let's do our best. First, we need to remove the LCD cable shields here. I call them shields, but you can call them brackets or things or I don't know whatever you want to call them. Careful with the screws. This one is not tightened. So either my tip is kind of small or the screw is kind of messed up. Yeah, this has no traction whatsoever. So we are going to have to find a way to remove it. I'm right-handed, so... Okay, there we go. Lift this up. Now let's remove the screws on this side and on the other one. Good. Now we're removing the hinge covers. Like so. Now we need to remove the screws that are holding down the T-Con board. Okay. So this is released and now we need to unscrew the Wi-Fi antenna that for some reason the two first the, the first two screws were just turning spinning in place as is this one so I'm guessing somebody has done something bad to them but we're not here to discuss about that. We are here to learn if we can fix a very common fault on this on these laptops. And by the way, this is the part of the video where I ask you to subscribe if you haven't done so, because it really helps. And if you do, you should let me know what kind of see. The screws are just coming right out. 
And if you do subscribe, you should let me know on what content you would like to see in the future. Let's remove the Wi-Fi antenna here and the rest of the screws, including this one here. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, now, let's get another tip and remove the screws here. I always like to leave two and then open up the laptop entirely and then remove the rest of the screws. I don't know why, it makes it easier for me to control it like that and the screen is never damaged. So, there we go. Now, I don't know what is the easier way or the easiest way to remove this bezel there but what I like to do is take some tape and stick this like so on both sides Okay, seems okay. And now we need a, a plastic prying tool, at least that's my preferred way of doing this. We need to set our hot air station to 170 degrees Celsius. In that way, we will not be damaging the LCD itself or melting anything around it. And we just start by lifting the bezel up here. Like this. Don't lift too much. And then we insert our prime tool here. And we just heat it up. And move along. No rush. No reason. As you can see, I'm not inserting it all the way in, I'm just on the edge here. And you do this all the way through the other side. More often than not, this will break because the screen has been tortured, has been mistreated. And in some shape or form, it has a dent or a, or a crack or, I don't know, something underneath and it's not going to be able to be removed nicely. That's why I like to have some spare bezels here. In case anything bad happens, we can always replace that. And with that out of the way, we can now go ahead and remove one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Like this. And like this. Lift that up and just use your tweezers to remove it and you should have something like this and with that out of the way remember as i said in the beginning if it's on the left side then it's most probably this flex 
I think that you should know by by now that this flex is for the backlight of the of the monitor or the LCD, and this is for the camera and the ALS. Considering that the monitor is connected like this, the LCD. I don't know why I keep calling it a monitor. Anyway, moving on. Now that we are here, as I said, we should be looking at the left flex cable. So we're going to go into our microscope. As you can see, in order for me to get under the microscope and work on this thing, I'm actually, I'm actually keeping it in an angle and just sliding it under the microscope. And it's pushing against my chest, so I can have both my hands free because I need one to uh, pull this flex straight and I need the other one to start scraping on this pimple here so that I can reveal the trace underneath that is broken. I don't know if it's visible under the microscope because there is a lot of light but you will see in a second what I'm talking about. Let me get this in focus. Okay, can you see that? It's right on the trace. So if we scrape this well enough And on the other side, you don't want to scrape too much because that will deteriorate the flex itself. It will make it so it will be much harder to solder a wire there and it, it will be much more prone to breaking in the future. Can you see that? Let me get this in focus. Come on, come on. I think you can see it. This is the, the actual trace. On this side it's fine, on this side it's fine, and right in the middle there's a cut. Yeah. So what we want to do is get some solder in there so that we can tint the, the trace itself. Like... So, see that? And now, we need to get some wire. This is 0 0.02 millimeter wire. It says iPhone, but I'm guessing it does for everything. And we should wrap, wrap this on the bottom of the LCD itself. Where were we? We need to find the flex. Come on. This will be a pain for you to, to see because it's actually a pain for me to focus on this. But I'll try my best. I'm just bending the wire in a way that it kind of stands above the, the, the broken trace so that I can solder it easily. cut the extra wire and we will put some isopropyl alcohol and clean it with a q-tip Now you should be able to see the 
Mm, see it? That wire there. And we can add some some solder mask. I'm just going to be covering and spreading it. Nothing extra fancy. Now we're going to need our UV light away from the microscope because we need to cure it. Okay. Let's bring this back here. I'm just doing this. Okay. Now let's connect the LCD here. I think this should be more than enough for our testing purposes. Battery screw. And battery flex here. Okay. And let's check. Well, here you go. No more vertical lines here. And uh, remember that it's if it's on this side, it's the right flex. I mean, it's uh, just the, the corresponding. And of course, I'm going to get myself messed up. If it's on the right side, then it's going to be the right flex. I, I was just saying that it's the corresponding flex on each side. Don't scrape it a lot, because then you will have to deal with the fact that the trace itself has been thinned out, and it won't be as tolerant to flux and solder as it would be normally. That's it. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.